finally going to be watching Has Been Hotel for the first time. I am super excited for this because I've been wanting to react to it for months. I don't know much about the show other than it's based on like hell and heaven. So I put on this crop top that says Angel feels fit in. Um, I haven't worn this crop top in years and I didn't realize how small it's gotten. I feel as though one wrong move and my boob is gonna out of the top. Pause. It's so convenient that I'm talking about boobs right now because... Today's video is sponsored by Parade. Parade creates underwear and apparel that encourages you to be exactly who you are daily. Whether you're feeling bold and bright or calm and neutral, Parade has something for you. As a certified bra hater myself, I never thought there would be a day I would happily wear a bra. Usually I hate bras because the underwiring will dig into me and be so uncomfortable or just not give me the proper support for my boobies. But then Parade came into my life and introduced me to this ultra soft replay dream plunge bra and it has become a wardrobe staple for me. I love how the straps don't dig into my shoulders. Even the under support is super bendy and flexible. I especially love the cut of this bra. The plunge neckline makes it super easy to wear any top in my closet. For example, I have this long sleeve top that is usually impossible to wear with a bra. Let me try it on so y'all can see this magic. Boom, it's like the bra disappeared. Where did my dream plunge bra go? I don't know. Like it just fits perfectly under this top. You can't even see the straps. This bra just fits seamlessly underneath all my tops and I love it. Now let's talk about the material of this bra, which is a Parade original fabric called Replay. Parade is making waves by utilizing rescued materials typically wasted in production processes. That means you can feel fantastic about wearing this bra knowing it's made from certified recycled fabric. If you're ready to ditch discomfort and step into some buttery soft sustain- Sust Words are hard. Sustainable bras. I've got a limited time discount code just for you. Use my coupon code REACTS40 to save 40% off site wide on Parade today. Thank you again, Parade, for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to like, comment down below your thoughts and opinions. And without further ado, let's get straight into Husband Hotel. At the end of the rainbow, there's happiness. And to find it, how often I've tried. But my life is a race, just a wild goose chase. And my dreams have all been denied. Why have I always been a failure? What can the reason be? Goodness, not this creepy imagery. <laughs> F you heaven. Okay, accurate. <laughs> Punishment, your days are numbered. Okay, hell looks like a fun place to live in. Not gonna lie, this looks like downtown in my area. Like you go downtown in my city, this is what it looks like. I kind of feel unfazed by this. <laughs> Next cleanse, 365. Uh, uh, oh, I'm alive! I'm alive! Oh, oh. <laughs> Not anymore. Keep this discreet, you hear me? I can't let it get out. I'm offering my services to randos on the street. It was a quick cash grab. You got it? <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> Ouch! Ooh, such an insult. Let me know when you come up with something creative to call me, you sack of poorly packaged horse shit. Yep, tell him. Yoink! Hey! Up yours, drag show! Karma's a bitch. I should've known better. And everybody will know the name of Sir Pet Lord! Pardon? Who said that? What did you just say to me, you fried chicken fetuses? Fried chicken fetuses, wow. Wow, okay. <laughs> you looking for a fight, old man? Ooh, 
yes, I am. Six, six, six news. <laughs> Turf war is raging on the west side between notable kingpin Serpentius and self-proclaimed spunky powerhouse Cherry Bomb. That's Cherry Bomb, I love Cherry Bomb already. She looks fabulous. Looks like they're fighting tooth and nail for that hot spot. And I'd sure like to nail her hot spot. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> We have an exclusive interview with the daughter of Hell's own head honcho, who's here to discuss her brand new passion project. Okay, we love a good passion project. I have these other ideas of what to say. Is this a drawing? Yes, that's the happy ending, see? Everyone's smiling and happy in heaven. For the princess of Hell, she's very bubbly. <laughs> It's such a contrast from what you would expect from the Princess of Hell. She gives me very much Rapunzel from Tangled vibes. Blonde, happy, everything sunshine and rainbows, when really she's living in a dark and depressing situation. <laughs> the talking points we went over. And do not sing. Okay, fine. She says do not sing, so that means we're gonna sing for sure. Mm-hmm. Hi, I'm Charlie. Katie Killjoy. I'd say it's a pleasure to meet you, but that would be a lie. You can put that Ooh. away. I don't touch the gays. I have standards. <gasps> okay there, Miss Killjoy. <laughs> um, Miss Killjoy is intense, but I love me a good gaslight gatekeep girl boss character. <laughs> As most of you know, I was born here in hell and Growing up, I always tried to see the good in everything around me. Hell is my home, and you are my people. We we just went through another extermination. We lost so many souls, and it breaks my heart to see my people being slaughtered every year. No one is even given a chance. I can't stand idly by while the place I live is subjected to such violence. I hear the music, so that means we're gonna sing soon. Isn't there a more humane way to hinder overpopulation here in hell? Perhaps we can create an alternative way to change souls through... Redemption? Redemption? Well, I think yes. So that's what this project aims to achieve. So far, all the characters I've seen seem unredeemable, so I don't know what a redemption will do. Maybe I'm not getting through to you. Oh no. Yep, here comes the singing. And a piano, wow. <laughs> I have a dream I'm here to tell About a wonderful, fantastic new hotel The beat switch up. Yeah. I liked that. Come on, are, are y'all not impressed? Wow. That was shit. <laughs> okay, y'all just don't know good music if it punched y'all straight in the jugular. Well, we have a patron already who believes in our cause and he's shown incredible progress. Who is that? And who might that be? Oh, just someone named Angel Dust. Angel Dust? The porn star? You f***ing would, Tom. I'm sure you can get that to do anything with enough booger sugar and lube. Oh, I beg to oh. differ. He's been behaved, clean, and out of trouble for two weeks now. Are you sure? Because we just saw him grab some drugs in the first bit of the show. It looks like the one who just joined the battle is none other than <gasps> porn actor Angel Dust. <sighs> what a juicy coincidence. You must feel really stupid right now. <laughs> <laughs> Ratings! Ratings! How does it feel to be such a total failure? <laughs> yeah, well, how does it feel that I got your pen, huh? Bitch. Oh, not the bitch. And the way she said it too, bitch. <laughs> I thought you up and died or something. Oh, I wish. I've been staying at this crappy hotel on the other side of town. Some broads are letting me stay rent free if I play nice. Hmm, <laughs> well, you're not playing nice right now. <laughs> Daddy, son. Son? What? So we into that stuff? Okay. Incest isn't really my taste. Is your hat like alive or something? Would that make your hat the top and you the bottom? Mm. Ooh. I'm going 
to blow you to bits. I like how when the two characters are far away in the shot, their faces were just like simple dots in the smiley. <laughs> like, look at them. <laughs> That was really uncool, you know, Angel. Uncool? After that train wreck, there is no way anyone is gonna wanna stay at the hotel. All yeah. thanks to you and your selfish bullshit! So I get that she wants to rehabilitate the hell population so that they turn good and there's less people in hell. However, wouldn't heaven get overpopulated and they would have to start killing off people in heaven? Or does heaven just have unlimited population? And if heaven has unlimited population, then why can't hell have unlimited population too? Ah, uh, shut up! When you think of <laughs> God. This place looks so depressing. It's probably a good idea to get some actual food in this place. You know, to feed all the wayward souls you got in here. <laughs> exactly, instead of just melted skinny popsicles. That honestly kind of re resembles skinny dicks. <laughs> mom, aw, who's our mom? I don't know if I'm going to make a difference. I don't know what I'm doing. I could really <coughs> use some advice, Mom. I... I think Dad was right about me. <laughs> well, eh, anyway, I'll stop talking before this gets long. Uh, love you. Bye. Pause, because now I have even more questions. This is a good pilot because it's making me interested in the story and making me want to learn more. Number one, who's the mom? Number two, where is mom? What is mom doing? Why isn't she here too? Number three, where is dad? Where is Lucifer? Like Satan, whatever. Ooh, who's knocking? Oh, hi. You're very tall and creepy. <laughs> pleasure to be meeting you, sweetheart. Quite a pleasure. Excuse my sudden visit, but I saw your fiasco on the picture show, and I just couldn't resist. What a performance! I love how he calls a TV a picture show. I'm not gonna let you hurt anyone here, you pompous, cheesy talk show shit lord. Dear, if I wanted to hurt anyone here, I would have done so already. Uh-uh-uh, uh-oh. Uh, uh, I'm scared. No, I'm here because I want to help. We don't need your help. No, thank you. You can leave now. Uh, what's the deal with smiles over there? Wait, you've never heard of him before? You've been here longer than me. The radio demon. One of the most powerful beings hell has ever seen. Eh, not big on politics. <laughs> Same. I hate politics. Sinners started calling him the radio demon. As lazy as that is. He looks like a strawberry pimp. <laughs> Pretty accurate. <laughs> he can't be redeemed and is most likely looking for a way to destroy everything we're trying to do. I... Uh, we don't know that. He literally just told you he's not with the message. He's just here to see things fail. The whole point of this is to give people a chance. Oh, is that mom? Mom's a total babe. Even the way she's posed there with her hand. Mom knows she's hot. Hmm. As princess of hell and heir to the throne, I, uh hereby order that you help with this hotel for as long as you desire. Sound fair? Hmm. Fair enough. <laughs> cool beans. For someone that was born and raised in hell, like, she sticks out like a sore thumb. <laughs> cool beans. <laughs> but where is your hotel staff? Uh, well... Oh, you're going to need more than that. And what can you do, my effeminate fellow? I can suck, suck your dick. dick. Oh, why was I so accurate? The way Angel Dust was sucking down that popsicle, I clocked them skills from one professional sucker to another. <laughs> oh, another musical number. Hey. Cause you're one of a kind, a charming demon bell. Now let's give these burning fools a place to dwell. Ooh, I love the color in. They'll spend a little time down at this has been home. Look who 
it is harboring the striped freak. We meet yet again, Alastor. Do I know you? <laughs> Pause. That was so Mariah Carey coded. I don't know her. I'm so evil. Ooh. Oh no. Radiohead, please come down. Who wants some jambalaya? My mother once showed me a wonderful recipe for jambalaya. In fact, it nearly killed her. <laughs> you could say the kick was right out of hell. Stay tuned. <laughs> I like that a lot. I have a lot of questions, but I feel like that's the point of a pilot is to get you questioning things, get you interested, hook you in to want to learn more of the story and this was really fun and the animation was really good just the different effects they use even the sound effects they use when characters would like shug their shoulders and like move their arms and just it was really well done i'm excited to watch the other episodes i think there's like eight in total on amazon prime i hope you guys enjoyed watching this pilot episode with me if you did don't forget to like comment down below your thoughts and opinions and subscribe if you want to see me react to the rest of this series. I hope you guys are having a great day or night wherever you are and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, peace.